Um, you played 299 pro games for this organization between the Marlies and the Maple Leafs. Why was it so important for you to get this deal done now and, and to be a part of the organization? Um, to be honest, I just I there's never a doubt that I want to go anywhere else. You know, I, I want to stay in Toronto. Um, you know, that was my number one priority. And and uh, you know, ever since I, I got traded here, um, it's been an honor to you know play for the Marlies and, and for the Leafs, and it's something special to me. So. Um, you know, to get this deal done now is uh, it's huge for me. Is it has something it, that has a feel? To it, it, it feels amazing. Obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that, and um, you know, now I can just kind of relax and, and focus on the uh, you know the upcoming season and just working out. And um, so it's it's a weight lift off my shoulders for sure. I'm just really proud of the route you've taken because you were you put your nose down, went to work a lot with the Marlies, and probably at times, Cap, you thought maybe too much Marlies, but you. You know, you, you went about your business and, and really yeah finished. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't the easiest road for sure, but um, you know, I think it was it was the the right one for me. Um, I think I uh, <laughs> that's a nice ringtone. Um, I think it was the right road for me um, as a person. Um, I felt like I, I grew and as a player especially. So um, you know, it's frustrating at times, but um, you know, like I said, it's you know, it means everything to me to you know play for the Leafs and, and be here for another three years. No, I, I wasn't really thinking about that too much. You know, like I said before, I wanted to stay in Toronto and uh, you know do everything I can to, to stay and, and get a get a good deal done. And, and um, you know that's what happened. It wasn't um, you know hard at all. It was it was you know pretty fast and pretty easy. And and uh, I'm so happy to be here. Is it a case where getting some term was important to you rather than just going on a one year type of situation? Yeah, I mean, um, you know. I, just, I I want to stay here for for a while. That, that was for sure. Um, and and regarding you know everything else that's going on, um, the deal that I got is you know amazing. And and uh, like I said, I just I just want to stay in Toronto and and uh, be here and, and and play with uh, you know these guys. It's a special team. It's a young team, and um, you know the future is really bright. How much are you paying attention to Mitch? Just staying in touch with him and just, just kind of wondering yourself how it's no, going to play. No, no, not too much. You know, he's doing his own thing, and I'm and I'm not too worried about it. Um, you know, I'm am just focusing on myself, and and then I just want to get this deal done, and you know, I'm happy about that. You and Jansen have sort of risen the ranks of the organization together. I guess how have you seen Andreas grow as well, and are you guys kind of signing these deals? This yeah, time? I mean, me and Johnny, you know, we uh, you know playing in the, in the Marlies, and we were in the trenches together, and and uh, and and last year, you know, we got to play play together with Maddie a bit, and. Um, you know, just seeing him develop as a player as well. It's uh, you know, it's special to see. He's, he's a good buddy of mine, and you know, I'm happy to see that he signed too. Your dad was able to establish roots in Philadelphia, and having grown up in that, uh, can you appreciate what it means to stay in one place for a long time and, and get to be brought up the way you were in suburban Philly? Yeah, um, for sure. I think uh, you know, say, staying somewhere and kind of you know, knowing that you're going to be somewhere for three years and, and signing a deal like that, and you know, I was lucky enough that. You know, my dad. You know, he got traded once, and we didn't bounce around. And, and I think it's just it's good for uh, your your mental health and kind of knowing, um, you know, the future's future's bright and it's uh, it's going to be good. So um, I really appreciated that growing up for sure. Yeah. Not that you're not welcome in Toronto, but I thought all the Finns went back to Finland for June. Yeah, I mean, I was there for a bit. Um, you know, saw saw my family, saw my friends, and and uh, but you know. Nowadays, it's just uh, you know when I come to Toronto, it feels it feels more home to me. So um, you know, I feel more relaxed here, and, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Do you wear that shirt on purpose? Today? Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm repping now. You know I'm I'm going to be here for a while. So um, you know Toronto is uh, you know an amazing city. You know I I don't want to go anywhere else, and um, lucky to be here. Were you one of the guys at Raptors games? I wasn't. That that's that's you know that's the best part that I missed out. That was uh, you know when I was back home in Finland and um, you know I was thinking about flying out just to you know see a couple of games. But um, you know I'm I'm so happy that they won and, and it's, it's a huge thing for the city of Toronto I think and it's uh, it's well deserved.